Hey everybody on YouTube, this is uh, Ken with Xmods Gaming, I'm shooting another video. Uh, so in this video, uh, we're going to replace the uh, NES main cap, because uh, I was having video problems. If you see my last video, you would know how to fix it. And this is a 22200 microfarad, and it's 3.5 volts. And then um, I'm probably going to replace one of the uh, caps um, that are that's 100 microfarads on the main board. Uh, just, you know, while I'm here, if you get one of these, you probably want to replace all the caps just to make sure you don't have any video problems or anything. So, yeah, we'll get started on this. Oops. And hopefully... Hopefully you guys can see what I can see, so it's not an easy solution. So I'm gonna grab some solder. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to need the flux, but... And what you want to do is take the, the shielding off. And then the cap. Yeah, the cap's going to be those two points right there. I would recommend uh, turning on your NES for about... 10 minutes with the cable unplugged just to drain the main capacitor because it could it could shock you pretty bad so what I'm doing is I'm desoldering That might be enough. Yeah, it's kind of a pain desoldering. I like to be those one guys that could. That have expensive tools. But this is, you know, I'm a home hobbyist, so having expensive tools is not something I need. kind of loosening it up a little bit yeah you have to kind of take your time with this sometimes I wonder if it was even the right point. Uh, let's try this other one. Sorry not to be such a noob.
Yeah, so I was just doing the wrong points, but here's the old cap. Uh, 2200 microfarad, 25 volt, if you can see that. Now what you want to check down in, let me see if I can get that on camera. So down in there, you see that white spot? That's where your the stripe on your cap's gonna go. So you wanna get the polarity 100%. Then what you wanna do, I'm gonna double check the polarity just to make sure. Okay, positive, negative. Then you wanna spread the legs. That way the, the piece you are soldering doesn't fall out. I'm just using a big chisel tip. It came with this iron because I don't, I have conical tips and those generally are good for smaller stuff, but Seems how we're, you know, kind of just working with uh, uh, I'm gonna turn my solder, my iron down a little bit. I guess while I'm here, I'll try to, I'll just fill in that gap I created just because it's a component, some kind of component. And then what you want to do is take... Delcast uh, flush cutters. Um, bought those off eBay uh, for, I mean, I, I got like a whole kit for like $4, like desoldering wick, all kinds of stuff. So, um, so yeah, there's with our replacement cap. Um, and I think it's the same brand, Digicon. Let me double check because these ones might be. Rubicon is what these ones are. So I got like, I got like four of them for like a dollar, for not a dollar with, um, for about five dollars. Pretty much I'm going to replace this cap right here, it's 100 microfarad, just because I have one. So this video is almost 10 minutes and I just wanted to show you a quick video on how to replace a cap on the NES. Um, I would check out um, Fix It Feels video if you want to know how to take apart an NES because I didn't go over that. So yeah, this is Ken with X Mods Gaming, until next time.